Hey, welcome back to the channel. Um, I got in front of me a VZ26. This is the original gun. This isn't a rewelder, and this is an original import. Right now, the gun is set up in 762 by 25. We'll make sure it's empty. Um, first, before I show you the caliber conversion, which is what this video is about, I've uh, spoke before about lock, look, and uh, load. The VZ26 series, the 24, 23, 25, have a, a different bolt design. So when you lock the bolt all the way back, as you can see, it's covered. So you actually have to kind of look in with the bolt halfway back. I don't like this design, but again, I didn't design the gun. All right. The gun is in 762 by 25 factory barrel. I have a spare bolt. Normally, you would just field strip and take the bolt out of it. I'm not going to do that. It's not necessary to do this change. And I have a 9mm barrel from Indiana Ordnance. Correction, Indianapolis Ordnance. Uh, when I got the barrel, it came in the white, not in blue. This is just cold blued. I've noticed that when you shoot the gun, uh, the chamber's just a little bit tight, so a little bit of lubrication on the bullet seems to help quite a bit. But, I'm going to show you this uh, barrel conversion, and then we'll shoot the barrel, the gun in different calibers for you. 762 by 25 What's nice about the VZ system is there's two little notches right here where my finger is that correspond to two little tabs here on the barrel nut. This goes on and it unscrews the barrel nut. As I said, normally you would use the one in the gun, but to make this video quicker, we're just going to use a spare bolt. This comes off. Barrel nut comes off. Also that came off of the barrel nut is the sling attachment. Out comes the 762 by 25 barrel. In goes the 9mm barrel, which you have to rotate to get it to drop in. There's a notch. If you saw it, it just dropped in. On goes barrel nut. Get our little helper or tool. The gun is now a 9mm. It uses the same magazines, the same bolt, everything. We'll shoot it for you. It's a pretty simple conversion. I just wanted to show it to you because I, if you have a VZ26 or a 24, this is a good way to enjoy it economically. There are a few problems with shooting 9mm that may or may not show up in the video. Um, as I said, the chamber is just a tiny tight, but a little bit of lube until the, until the chamber wears in is all you really need. All right, we're going to take it out to the range and shoot it. Thanks for watching. PZ26, factory 762 by 25 barrel. 762 by 25. This might either be Chinese or Yugo. I got both kinds. I think this is Chinese. Lock it open. Insert the magazine. We'll give it a try here. work flawless. If you notice the uh, psychic rate between the two, you'll see that the 762 is much faster because it's a much harder round. Oh, got a failure. Have a round in the magazine. So, One thing good about showing you a failure in the factory caliber, this gun really is not that great of a gun.
around that time. I found with this gun, even in the factory 7.62x25, I get, I don't know, one, two, three failures to feed out of a hundred rounds. Um, I don't know if it's ammunition related or not, taking into account this ammo was made in the 50s. But the gun's a fun gun to shoot. But if you have a close sample, because I believe that's all there are, there's no transferables out there, you should look into the 9mm barrel. And we will show you the 9mm barrel shooting. See you soon. Ah, we put the 9mm barrel in it. That's the only thing that's been changed. 9mm Tula inside a factory 7.62x25 magazine. Obviously lock. We can't look because of the bolt, which I explained earlier. We'll give it a whirl here. Well, that worked flawlessly. Let's try it one more time. Instead of bursting it and doing semi, I'll just do a whole mag dump. Again, 9mm Tula. Oh, we got a failure. Boy, oh boy. All right, pause it. We'll clear it and we'll come back and fit it. All right, we uh, got the round cleared out. It was a live round. I don't know if you can see that, but it has a real good primer hit. So we're going to just, I cleared the gun and we're going to try and uh, run the rest of the magazine. Fair to you eject. There is a live round in the chamber because it picked it up off the bullet, off the magazine. Another failure to eject. It was on the last round. Well, now we're going to, so, what I can say about the 9mm magazine, it does work, I mean, sorry, the 9mm barrel, it does work, but I think you need to run the gun with a little bit of oil in it. When the oil dries out, it does not seem to uh, eject completely. All right, thanks for watching.